All right, I want to talk about sampling now too, because I think we had a company on maybe like, I don't know, six months ago, and their whole company was around sampling and be able to create sampling for other companies. How did you all get into this space? And what have you seen when it comes to maybe, you know, like an order of something after someone gets a sample in the mail for the first time with their bigger order, and they maybe were not even expecting it? Or do they click it? I don't know. But like, what does it look like for that brand afterwards? Yeah, so sampling actually came about because it's like a pretty funny story. When early days, so this was like my first year at the company, we had a meeting with a very large CPG advertiser. And I remember they were walking us through some of the stuff that they've done with other retailers and other other marketing initiatives that they've done. And it was really discovery for us because it, that in my first like six to 12 months, it was like, learn, how do we become a great ad platform? And I remember they were giving us a presentation on a lot of the sampling work that they've done, right? And I'm sure the sampling you're familiar with is like, you're walking down the street, you pass a 7-Eleven or a Walgreens and like someone is standing outside unassociated with that company, just like hands you a muscle milk or hands you a, you know, something and they don't know who you are. They don't know where you're going. They don't know if you want this product and they have no idea what happens after, right? That was like the traditional means of sampling. So other companies have tried to solve this in different ways, but they're walking us through what they've done on the sampling front. And I remember they put up this slide, I'll never forget it. And they said, here's what we're doing with sampling. We gave out 100,000 samples, right? You know, we had boots on the ground giving out samples. I don't remember the exact number. I said, what kind of data did you guys get back from this program? And they were like, oh yeah, let's show you. We have a ton of data. They clicked to the next slide. There was two data points. The first data point said numbers of samples distributed. And the second data point had like an estimated number of people that received samples. And like that was- I mean, I hope it's one to one. (laughs) Right, that was it. I know, crazy. And I was like, okay, great. But like, what kind of data did you guys get? And they're like, no, this is the data. And at that point, it clicked for us that there was this huge opportunity to make sampling much more trackable and measurable for CPG advertisers. And so we've spent a lot of time working on this capability internally. We ended up building something like hacking something together in like three weeks. We did our first sampling program with them and it was like super successful. But now we look to where we are today and and where the future of the category is going. You have brands who are giving out millions and tens of millions of samples every year. And a lot of that is not trackable or measurable. And it's expensive because you're paying for a free product and you're potentially paying some sort of placement fee to whoever's giving it out. So I have seen different variations of companies launch sampling programs, and I think it's a huge step in the right direction. I would argue that we have the best ability to sample because we know everything about the customer before they receive the sample. So we can make sure that samples get to the right people. We know how that customer engages and behaves after receiving the sample. And then we can help inform both future sampling programs and other types of advertising programs and the targeting based on what we've learned from the segmented reporting that we're able to distribute back to our partners. And so, you know, it started where it was a surprise and delight capability. And over the past year, we've introduced different types of opt-in capabilities as well around sampling. So we think it's early days, again, for the sampling platform, but it's the like trackability and measurability component that many companies lack when it comes to sample distribution. And we think there's a really big untapped opportunity here to partner with folks who are already receiving a lot of samples and become the fulfillment and measurement arm of those companies on the behalf of these advertisers. So it's something we're really, really bullish on and we're spending a lot of time and and resources to build out. Hey, thanks for watching. This segment was made possible by our friends at Salesforce Commerce Cloud. If you're looking for the number one platform for all your commerce needs, go check out salesforce.com slash commerce. And don't forget to subscribe below and tap that little bell icon so you can stay on top of all the amazing new segments and full episodes that we'll be putting out over the coming year with some of the best and most influential commerce leaders out there.